Frank uh, did a great job with his team. He really had them ready to play. Um, they were much sharper than us early on in that game and kind of set the tempo for the whole game. Um, they, they played hard. They, they played good defense. Uh, they worked hard. Um, so um, they earned the game. There was nothing out there that um, was a fluke about that game. They, they played better than we did in every area. And uh, Frank did a great job of uh, getting them ready to play. Uh, Johnson had a great game with uh, 16 rebounds and a force inside for them. Uh, and all their perimeter guys who we knew were good shooters stepped up and made uh, timely shots. They shot 50% nine for 18 from the three-point line. And, uh, you know, we shot okay from the three-point line. But, you know, you give up, um, you know, that type of shooting percentage and you're, you're going to lose uh, most games. So. Um, that's what it was, you know, it was uh, Miami really playing well, us uh, not doing the things that uh, we should do, and uh, they were, uh, you know, really uh, gained confidence as the game went on, I thought, uh, so that's what happened. Okay, you had talked about uh, this being a long season. Do you think, especially in the first half, you guys were a little bit road weary? No. Um, I, I don't want to take anything away from Miami, in other words, uh, give them credit. That, that's part of the deal, you know, you, you know, you're, you get the ACC schedule, that's given to you, you know, you don't make that like you do the rest of the game, so whatever it is, it is, and, uh, you know, we've been, in, we've been in stretches like this before where you've you got two back-to-back -back road games where you have to travel, get home late, um, and we're just in the middle of it, you know, uh, we, we got to get back tonight and get ready for Virginia on Saturday. So you, you can't, you know, you, you can reach for things. Um, you'd like to say, well, we retired or whatever, but that, that's not the case. In other words, you you play a season, you know, you have your games and um, you know what you have to do. And uh, so there's there's no excuse about being tired. I mean, I don't, that, that's, you know, don't, don't, don't say that because Miami, you know, they, they showed up and played, you know, I don't want to take anything from away from what they do. How difficult a matchup did Jordan have tonight? I mean, it seemed like he had to battle for pretty much every last thing that he got tonight. Well, he had 16 shots, 17, 17 shots. Yeah. Um, it's quite a few shots. You know? I mean, you got to put the ball in the basket. Um, and uh, the guy, you know, Johnson's a good player. I mean, he's getting better. He's 300 pounds, whatever he is. I mean, he's good and he's agile uh, with it. He made a couple moves where he got in, in other words, we tried to play him where he couldn't get to the basket. But he's got a couple of really clever up and under things that he was able to get an angle. Once you get that angle, you can get to the basket. And he did that several times, uh, especially in the first half. And, you know, that hurt us. But, you know, that, that was just one thing. Um, they took us out of our offense. We, we just didn't uh, see very good inside their defense. And, uh, oh, we got a little uh, individual out there. You know, we didn't pass the ball like we usually did. Uh, they have us for uh, 11 assists, which, you know, good night, we get 20. So maybe that explains a lot of things right there. Gary, you talked the other day about the importance of getting your team ready to compete and play. Did, did you sense they were ready to go before the game? And how did how did you yeah, sometimes think you don't about know the performance of their effort? Yeah. I wish I knew. You know, you could uh, probably sell it if, if you had that magic formula that, that you could walk in and wave a paper and it turns so a different color and you go, they're ready to play or they're not ready to play, but you don't know. I thought we were ready to play. We had a good practice yesterday, had a good shoot around today, but we didn't look like we did. We didn't play like we did. What was this guy on your board with Ryan Brown? Ryan Brown, um, we knew he could shoot. Uh, we, we had him as the one guy coming off the bench that was probably a good shooter, so we were, we were kind of ready. Uh, but they made, they made some nice shots. Uh, they did. We made some mistakes defensively, so it's usually a combination of things. Are you sensing guys getting more and more frustrated with how things have gone here over the last few weeks? They've gone pretty well. Uh, you, you know, if you look at, you know, we're, we're got a chance to be 500 in the league. Uh, you know, we had to come from, we struggled early this year. We got a little better, I thought. And, we just had a bad game tonight, that's for sure. But I thought we played okay against Carolina. That's a pretty good basketball team. Uh, we, we showed a lot of heart down the stretch in that game, things like that. And uh, we just have to get it back for Saturday. You know, that, that'll give us 19 if we get Saturday and um, give us a win going into the ACC tournament. And you never know what's going to happen there. So, uh, but we'll be ready to play. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I was disappointed tonight. Um, 
but like I said, you know, give Miami credit. Uh, it's not always what we don't do. Sometimes that other team's pretty good. Miami's pretty good. Though. Was that turning to Michael Parker? Was that an effort to just get a spark? He played well in practice, and uh, yeah, you know, we were not doing very well the first half. And, you know, I'm willing to try things. Um, and Mike was okay. Um, you know, it was good to see him out there. He, he's played better in practice the last couple of weeks, really. He's, okay. he's really done some good things off the court, too. Um, and he's got a really good future. Um, I think next year he's going, he's going to be one of the key guys for us because he, he's very athletic, he knows the game, and um, I think he's going to help us. Two or three more, please. Um, Saturday is senior day. What's going to be your lasting impression of this year's class? Well, they, they were put in a, a, a tough situation with, uh, you know, Gravis Vasquez, Landon Milner, and Eric Hayes leaving. In other words, everybody expected, well, these are the next seniors, you know, they, sh they should be what they were. So that's always hard uh, when you have great seniors uh, like they were. And, you know, certainly Cliff and Adrian both have had uh, great contributions to our program the last four years. Uh, and um, they've had games where, where they've won games for us. Uh, Cliff won the Georgia Tech game for us last year. Uh, Adrian, uh, when we beat Duke up there last year or the year before, kind of just a great game in the second half. Uh, so they, they, they've had great moments in their career that, that they'll remember. And, you know, that, that's how it goes sometimes, um, you know, in your career. Maybe, maybe, you know, you would have liked to have done better your senior year. But, you know, overall, uh, all three of the, you know, County Dino Gregory, they're going to graduate in four years. And that, that's pretty good, you know, uh, to graduate in four years and to play major college basketball. So, you know, not many people get to do that. When you talked about hoping you would have had more assists tonight, is part of it that you didn't have the, the good inside-out game? When Jordan took 17 shots, would you would like to have seen the ball go in and come oh, back out a little more? We, 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 got, we, we got the ball to Jordan. He got offensive rebounds, whatever that was. But we didn't see each other very well around. In other words, we, we penetrated. The kick wasn't there like we usually have where a guy standing there in the three-point line, he might have an open look now. We did some of it. I mean, we shot pretty well from the three-point line. It's about you know, the, the highlight of the, uh, the night for us because we didn't do much else. But uh, you, you, we have to have more assist than that if we want to be successful. Last one. Less we're finished. Okay, thank you.